Hi there, students. To swear by. Okay, a phrasal verb. Um, to trust something completely, to trust it wholeheartedly. So there are many students who swear by my teaching methods. To trust wholeheartedly and completely. If you swear by something, you believe it can be relied on to um, do what you want it to do. So my grandfather swears by the vitamin pills that he takes every day. He's certain that these are what keep him healthy. So he swears by them. Okay, to have great confidence in, to rely on. So um, he swears by his dentist. He says his dentist is a really good dentist and if he's got a problem, then this dentist will resolve it. To believe strongly that something is useful or effective. I swear by this method. Um, my mum swears by her yoga. She th she's determined, she's convinced that it is very effective in keeping her young and healthy. Okay, so to swear by something, to be absolutely certain that it works, to have great reliance on it. Um, <laughs> he swears by um, this variety of genes. Yeah, these are always the ones that uh, he buys because they're very good and you can't go wrong with them. Yeah, um, okay, so to swear by. Notice, um, you can also use this to have reliable knowledge about something, to be sure of it. So, um, he, uh, I know he was there. I can swear by it. Okay, I'm absolutely c convinced by it. I know it's true. And then to take, to swear, to swear by, I swear by the Holy Bible, to take an oath, use or a make a promise, you um, saying that something is, uh, that you promise to do it or that something is true. I swear by all that I hold dear that this was nothing to do with it, yeah? Um, I swear by my life that uh, I wasn't responsible for this. Maybe I swear upon my life as well. <coughs> to, so, to swear by, you're invoking something uh, when you're making an oath or a solemn promise. Um, I swear by all the holy saints that this is uh, the truth and the whole truth. When you go into court, you need to take an oath on the Bible. You need to swear by the Bible. And then to swear by, to trust completely. So, yes, you should swear by I Swear English's method. Yeah, it's uh, a really good method of learning. To swear by something, to have absolute confidence in it. Now, several points. Firstly, to swear by is inseparable. I swear by it. You can't separate the swear and the by, okay? I swear by the Bible. I swear by uh, these pills. Uh, she swears by yoga, okay? But nothing in between the two. And then also remember, swear is an irregular verb. Swear, swore, sworn. So he swore by the method that he was using. He has sworn by the Holy Bible that he won't drink again. Okay. Um, now, your next question, formality. This is a phrasal verb. He swears by it. I think I'd give it a 4.75 in formality. Use it in an informal conversation. It's perfect. You could use it in a semi-formal writing. Okay. But in something very formal, no. Um, he ho ha uh, hold, to hold in high stead, to hold, he has great reliance in something like this. Okay, so to swear by something, to be certain that it's going to work, 
And this, so what about the origin? Well, to swear, there's a, a an old English word, swedian, to swear or to take an oath, which comes from Proto-Germanic swejana, meaning to speak or to swear, which itself comes from Proto-Indo-European swear, meaning to swear. So it's clearly a very old word. Yeah, to swear, to take an oath, to take a promise, to guarantee. Enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. To swear by. Yeah, you can swear by my channel.